just a few days ago, the Biden administration was talking about Israel's right to defend itself, but if you ask Biden and if you ask these corrupt politicians, what about the Palestinians? Do they have the right to defend themselves? At least do they qualify to be as a human being, as the Ukrainians who deserve to be treated as humans as well, who are humans, they don't need our recognition. But why is it different when it comes to the Palestinians? At least do they deserve to live in freedom and equality, especially that we have the smartest president saying Palestinians deserve equal measures of freedom and equality. What does that mean? I mean, assuming he was awake when he was saying it. <laughs> what does that mean? Do they have the right to lift the siege that has been imposed on them for the past 15 years or now? An illegal, suffocating siege on 2 million people in Gaza. Do they have the right to claim their victims? I was on a TV show just about a week ago with a spokesman of the State Department stationed or based in Dubai. And of course, when he's in, stationed in Dubai, you can imagine the dirt that is going to come from his mouth. Because UAE is no less a state sponsor of terrorism than Israel. So when they brought the story of a young 11-year-old girl in the hospital with her left arm and two legs amputated, 11 years old, live on TV with her mother sitting next to her, talking about what happened when a rocket fell next to her and to her brother. She did not know the fate of her brother at the time, and I still don't know what that was the fate of her brother. She was talking with defiance and resilience, although she lost her left arm, two legs. She was talking about how she loves to draw, but she uses her right hand or left hand. And when the correspondent asked her, how you got to draw? She said, I'll train my right hand. That is the defiance and that is the resilience of the Palestinian people. But what she did not know, that the weapon, that the rocket that hit her is an American rocket, paid for by us, despite our will. And then the spokesman of the State Department from Dubai can want to pass a chance to spell dirt from his mouth. He said her blood and her faith is on the Palestinians. He's a father, he told us, of a daughter, who he fears for her. But that girl did not meet his threshold to be treated as a human being. So the Palestinians are to be blamed for what happened to her. Look, these corrupt politicians are not going to change until we force them to change. Until we vote them out. Until they pay a price. At the when we vote, that's how they're going to care and listen. We're going to start to continue with our campaigns. We're going to continue with our advocacy. We're going to continue with our mobilization and with our struggle for justice until we end just justice here. Until we defeat the forces of evil in this country. Until we de defeat all voices of any sort of supremacy, including supremacy, not only when it comes to white supremacy, but this supremacy in relation to the entire humanity. When we treat people less, and we think because we are Americans that we enjoy a special status as human beings, what will elevate our status is what we stand for. It's not the oppression that we advance, and not the mayhem and the killing and the destruction that we spread throughout this world. Yes. That's what will make America exceptional. Not people like Biden, not the corrupt Trump, not the entire corrupt system. Look, we dare to say this in America. Other people around the world don't dare to say this because we support their dictatorship regimes, their tyrants. It is us that enable them to oppress their people. And they would love to do the same to us here, unless we continue this fight.
and we continue to speak up and to speak out while not seeing the police standing there because they have no right to interfere with our free speech. But if we continue to allow the corrupts to run this country, we will get to a point where you will be arrested by them just for saying what we're saying now. This embassy is a disgrace to Washington. It's a disgrace to us. And it's a disgrace to Judaism that is innocent of the crimes that are being committed in its name. We will continue to fight with justice, with justice, with an intersectional movement, Jews, Christian, people of all walks of life, any ideology, faith, no faith, doesn't matter. Our humanity is what guides us. Our sense of justice and decency is what is going to continue to fuel our urge to implement justice wherever it's needed, wherever there is a need to dispel injustice. Thank you again for coming. Please register for the Palestine Advocacy Day. Please make sure that you're part of an active campaign. Don't let it go. Now, today there's an attack. Maybe for the next few months we won't hear anything. But does it mean that the misery and the brutal reality that the Palestinians are living under has come to an end? It did not come to an end. It will not come to an end until we make sure and ensure the destruction of injustice. Thank you.